Chad, uh, congratulations on the win. Um, first off, how did you feel in there at uh, 170 pounds, you know, competing again? I felt awesome. You know, uh, people act like I've, I've, I've never fought at 170. I have more fights at 170 than, than, than 155. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the weight cut's a breeze for me. I took this fight on four weeks' notice. Yeah. To, to a fight at 155, it takes me 12 weeks. You know what I mean? So it was awesome. I felt great, and uh, I was expecting a, 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 a performance like that. And I know you probably don't look at the betting lines, but you were a pretty big uh, favorite heading into this fight. Do you, do you pay attention to that at all? Did that add more pressure? No. I don't watch it all, but I heard, I've heard i had a million interviews and people asking me about it. It means nothing to me. Brian Camozzi wasn't coming in here to lose. One yeah. 100% he was coming to to, to uh, fight his hard out, so uh, it means absolutely nothing. And I was I was, I was going there to finish him, and that, and that and that's exactly what happened. And you mentioned fighting on the Edmonton card. Um, do you like? I am fighting that. Oh, you are. Okay, so that, that's confirmed. <laughs> well, right? that's not confirmed, but I was yeah. I was I was barking at Sean Shelby from 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 the side of the cage. I was already getting ready to a fight in Edmonton before I took this fight. Yeah. That, that's a fight that I was planning on happening. I saw that uh, Kamosi's opponent got hurt, so I I right I right away called Sean and said, "Listen, Sean, yeah. I'll, I'll step in and take the fight." He said, "Sure." So I said, "But I'm going to fight Edmonton after." And you have a preference fighting in Canada. Obviously, if you have the absolutely. I'll, yeah. I'll fight all my fights in Canada. You know, it, it, it was a great coming to Las Vegas, but uh, I'm, 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 I'm a Canadian boy, and, and any card that, that, that there's in Canada, I'm, you, you bet I'm going to be there. And, and Mickey Gall is the next opponent. Uh, what about him specifically? Uh, that you want to fight him? Uh, he's just been spoon fed. You know, he was on he was on Dana's show. I I I I I, I, I had to work my way here. You know, I went through the Ultimate Fighter. I won the Ultimate Fighter. I, th this is my seventh fight in the UFC now. You know, and I I fought, I fought all tough guys. Yeah. You know, what I mean, Mickey Gall fought uh, CM Punk and reporter who never had a fight in his life. So you know what I mean? Give, uh, I I, I want to give him a test to to a, to a fight a real guy. You know, I have no disrespect against him. You know, like uh, good on the kid, but you know, come come up fight me and now things will be different. So you weren't impressed with this performance uh, to steal another Canadian? <laughs> That's it. Not, not at all. You know, and he 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 seems a good kid. You know, he's he's uh, he definitely has some skills, but uh, no way that he'll be able to beat a guy like me. Um, that shot, that, that right straight that finished him, was that um, was that part of your game plan? You just saw an opening? Absolutely. Or? You know, he's a, he's, a, he's a tall, lanky guy, so uh, me and my coach has been working the whole training camp on uh, hitting that body. You know, it, it took me a little bit of time to uh, get used to his range, but I, 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 I knew when, when I was able to find my openings that I, I'd be able to put him away. On the broadcast, they said that it was to the liver, but it looked like it was, was it to the ribs? Yeah, I think it was a right hook to, 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 to the body. So if it was, I was trying to get his liver, but, uh, you know, uh, kind of time ran on me and I ended up catching with that one. So. When you hit him and he doubled over and back, did you know right then and there that the fight was over? I knew he was hurt bad, so I, I didn't want to give him a chance to recover. I just see, I threw an elbow and I almost threw like a da downwards elbow. I was like, oh no, be, be, be careful. But I knew when I hit him and I seen him fold. I seen him in other fights before get hit in the body, and he was, he was a little soft in the body. But uh, he's got a lot of weapons, man. He's tall, he's got great knees, great kicks. But I, I, I knew that uh, my game plan would be I'd be way faster. I, I, I knew I had more punching power. And it was to uh, move, it was move off angle and then look for my shots, and you know, I ended up finding that one. You took a few fights recently on short notice. You out the business of doing that now. Did you feel the benefits of? Uh you know, so this was, uh, this so th 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 this fight was on one month, and I felt absolutely fine. You know, I was out because I ended up getting injured, so I had I had to miss out on UFC Toronto. So my last fight was last August. You know, so I was chomping at the bit. I'm I'm finally healthy now, and I'll I'll fight tomorrow if if I get another fight again. And then your last couple of training camps have been at home in London, which I know uh, you know you really prefer as far as uh, you know being close to family and everything. Yeah. I just talk about your team a little bit, uh, you know, which I think is kind of underrated at this point. Yeah, you know, we have we have killers back in London, Ontario that people don't realize. You know, I have awesome coaches: Andrew Elliott, Leo Laux. You know, I got Mark Hominick there, Sam Stout, Jess, Jesse Ronson, Chris 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 Clements. You know, yeah. I, got, I I have a lot of high level guys in London, Ontario, and Montreal is great too. I, I still train up there with the guys at TriStar, but London, Ontario is home. You know, I I I have a two a two month old baby daughter back home now you know what I mean so I'm gonna do the majority of my training will I be in London Ontario have you, have you trained at all with the Laramie brothers out there Laramie brothers come up all the time Reno Belcastro guys from Windsor you know we have and also guys at Parabellum in uh, Hamilton and uh, Toronto way you know everybody comes in to help me out I had so many tall guys uh, Muay Thai guys come in guys guys from all over the place to help me out get ready for a Brian Camozzi how you celebrating tonight? Uh, same thing as always, eating pizza, you know, relaxing. But, you know, I give, I'm going to give myself one week. But Sean Shelby, I'm fighting in uh, UFC Edmonton. So there's going to be no, I'm going I'm to get right back to work. When, Chad, when you asked for Mickey, did they say if he was available? Because he's kind of disappeared over the last few months. So what I hear from looking at, at his social media that he says he's ready to fight end of summer. Okay. So September 9th. This uh, looks like end of summer to me, right? So we'll see. Were you at TriStar when he was at TriStar? No, never. So I, I don't know if he trains there or what. I think he was only he went there for 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 for, for, for a little bit. So you know, obviously getting Mickey Gall is the long shot. Everybody wants to fight Mickey Gall. He's the, he's one of the easiest guys who has the biggest name, right? So 
We'll see. You don't even think he's good. He's not UFC level. He's not. He's, he's not UFC. He, he 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 can beat like lower end guys. You know, he's okay. He's got. I'm sure he has decent jujitsu, but he's not a guy like me level. He's 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 not a lot of guys that are, that are in the welterweight division level. You know, obviously, I'm not somebody who wants to trash talk, but I'm just saying facts are facts. It, it is what it is. Does it does it offend you when he's co-main event on Fox and he's getting these big opportunities? It, it, a little bit, you know what I mean, but good on him. You know, he's he's a, he's again lots of opportunities. So uh, you know, I'm 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 if uh, they ever match that fight up, it's definitely not gonna it's not gonna go well for him. And just curious, you mentioned uh, London, Ontario. There was a time when that was sort of the hub of MMA in, in Canada with Sean Tompkins. Yep. Do you sort of feel like you're the the new era that's going to bring them? You mentioned Stout and Hominick. These guys yep. are sort of. They yeah, exactly. Anymore, right, but you're the one who's going to bring it back to prominence. That's it. So, 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 Hominick Stout and those guys, Sean Tompkins, were we're 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 the, we're the, we're the pioneers, yeah. and I'm kind of the next guy who's 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 coming in. And then there's guys like the Larry Brothers who are kind of after me. You know what I mean? So I I take great pride in kind of being the next leader and uh, building up guys on, uh, that are coming up uh, underneath me. Really, go Chad. Oh, sorry, just uh, quickly. Uh, did you did you know Tim Hague at all? Obviously, uh, you know, big loss for the Canadian yep. MMA community. Did you ever meet him or have any relations with him? I, I, I never met him personally, but I have a lot of a, a lot of mutual friends. I've heard nothing but good things from him, and man, I know I really feel bad for for his son Brady. You know, God, I want to God bless him. You know, it's it's a terrible tragedy what what happened to him, and uh, God bless his family and, and I, 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 everybody out in uh, Edmonton. You know, there's a terrible loss, and hopefully things like that don't happen. You know, this is this is a, this is a dangerous sport, and anything that can happen, you know. So let's just say that hypothetically Mickey Gall is watching an internet video and he's watching you. Uh, what would you say to him directly? Come fight me, UFC Edmonton. You know, this is this is your chance. Let's do it. All right. Congratulations, sir. Thank, thanks, thanks, guys. I appreciate it.